and Pandit, you can do solidification simulation with two software modules. In the pan phase diagram module, we can do the lever rule and the shale model solidification simulation. For more complicated solidification behavior, when the cooling rate and back diffusion in the solid must be considered, the pan solidification module should be used. In this video, we are going to learn to perform solidification simulation using the pan phase diagram module. This is a typical binary phase diagram, here we use the magnesium aluminum system as an example. In the lever rule model, it is assumed that the solute diffusion in the liquid phase and the solid phase are complete. Therefore, the overall composition of both the liquid and the solid phase will follow the equilibrium liquidus and solidus lines during solidification, and the solidification ends at the solidus temperature. The temperature versus solid fraction curve is shown like this. For the shale model, it is assumed that the diffusion in the liquid phase is complete, but no diffusion in the solid phase. So, the overall liquid composition still follows the liquidus line. While the overall composition of the solid phase will move away from the equilibrium solidus line and follow the blue line. This is because the solids formed at higher temperatures contain fewer solute element. In addition, the solute element will be enriched in the remaining liquid thus lowering the liquidus temperature. Usually the solidification process finishes when the eutectic reaction is reached. The temperature versus solid fraction curve is shown as the red line. We want to point out that, although simple binary and ternary systems are often used as examples to demonstrate the functionality of the Pandit software, Pandit software is much more powerful and can be readily used for simulations of multi-component alloys containing more than 10 components. Now, let's start Pandit calculation. Select Pan Phase Diagram Module and create a workspace. Load Database. Select the Aluminum Magnesium Zinc TDB file. Select all three elements. For solidification simulation, click this icon or go to Pan Phase Diagram. Select Solidification Simulation. In this window, we can set the alloy compositions. For example, we set 9% of aluminum, 1% of zinc. Right click on the magnesium field. Click Yes to set the magnesium as balance. Here, we can select the solidification model as non-equilibrium shale model or equilibrium lever rule model. We have two options to set the start and the end of the solidification simulation. When both boxes are checked, and it will do perform the solidification simulation automatically from the liquidus temperature to the solidus temperature of for the given alloy composition. If you uncheck this box, then you can set the star temperature from here. Similarly, if you uncheck this box, you can set the end temperature in this field. In this example, we let Pandit to perform simulation between the liquidus and solidus temperature. Click OK. The temperature versus solid fraction diagram is plotted as the default graph. Put the cursor over the line. It will show solid phase information in this segment. Press F2 to add it on the graph. Add arrow to indicate it. You can also open the default table to see the detailed information. For example, we can see here is the liquidus temperature. Gamma phase starts to form at about 429 degrees C. The T phase starts to form at about 352 degrees C. 
and solidification ends at 341.6 degrees C. From this table, you can also get some other results. For example, the latent heat and the total fraction of each different solid phase. We can also plot new diagrams using the data in the table. For example, the total fraction of each phase is a function of temperature. First, select temperature as x-axis. Then hold the control key and select columns containing the total fraction of each phase. Then click this icon to plot the diagram. To add legend, click this icon. Then click on the diagram. The legend is added showing the phases represented by the lines of different colors. Now, let's do another solidification simulation under equilibrium solidification. Click the solidification icon. Change the solidification model from shale to lever rule. Click OK. Here, we want to add the previous shale simulated results on this plot for comparison. Keeping this graph open in the main window, single click to select the default table from the shale simulation. The content in this table is shown in the property window. Drag the FS to the diagram and release it. Then hold the control key and drag the temperature to the diagram. The result of the shale simulation is added. Click on this diagram, change the minimum value of the y-axis to 300 degrees C. The entire line is shown in the graph. Click this icon to add legend. Double-click on the legend, type the lever rule and shale model in the text editor. From this video, we learn how to carry out solidification simulation using pan phase diagram module by both the shale model and the lever rule model. Read detail information from table and merge the results from different calculations in one graph. That's all for this video. If you want to learn more about Pandit software, please visit our website or our YouTube channel.